So maybe you're studying or you're doing your PhDs and you're feeling really overwhelmed and a little bit burned out and you clicked on this video to hope to get some tips. So in this video I want to try to give you these tips and this is mainly based on personal experience because I've definitely noticed how your PhD and how your studies can creep into your personal life and kind of take over everything that you're doing. So this video is mainly made for me a little bit in the past and hopefully it can help you out as well. So one of the first things that I have as a rule that I kind of apply now almost always is to not work at home between brackets too much because I do still work at home sometimes but I've definitely noticed that through corona because I did the first two years of my PhD during corona and I worked at home almost always like everyone else and this kind of created the habit that my personal life and my studying slash work life these lines became really really blurred and I've definitely noticed all the downsides of not having a clear separation between your work and your personal life. So first of all when I work at home all day even though I'm sometimes a little bit more productive because I don't see my colleagues at all I definitely feel or felt quite isolated on the days that I worked at home and also something that I've noticed because if you're working at home you usually really have to rely on your own willpower and your own personal motivation not to get distracted but I don't know about you guys but at home I have definitely a thousand other things that I would or could do that are not my PhD and I've noticed that I would often get distracted at home spend some time cleaning spending some time eating spending some time calling a friend and then before I knew it an hour went by and I did nothing and during corona I just was super super strict to myself really being like you can only work you cannot do anything else during the hours that you have to work but I think what's way easier is just not to work at home so now that we don't have to work at home i just rather go to for example university or to the library and do all of my work there and so the second thing that for me became really really important is exercise and thinking about your general health and i know everyone says this you have to exercise and blah 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 but i've definitely noticed it over the last three months i had a deadline that i was pushing towards and i was kind of neglecting all of my exercise routines or or everything that I did outside and to be honest my back just started hurting I started getting really really tired and also I just had this general brain fog that I couldn't get rid of and if you're one of those people that really despises exercise I think even taking a long walk in the evening or being outside or for example a little bit of yoga can already have the same benefits as having a full strenuous exercise routine so something that really worked for me is that I truly enjoy dancing and doing yoga so I try to every day during the week do these two a little bit and then in the weekend I really make time for these hobbies so I really try in the weekend to do a class for example at the gym and doing this I noticed that in general I'm way less agitated I'm better able to focus during the hours that I have to focus but also to truly relax during the hours that I have to relax so number three and this one I'm quite strict about sometimes I do go over this rule for example in this video but is to not work in the evenings and that's because I am a morning person in general so I just don't work well in the evenings and the evenings that I decide to work I almost get nothing done and the next morning I'm just super super tired and also usually really stressed and I think by having really clear and quite strict boundaries of what is my work time and what is my own time you kind of become way more productive during your work time because as most of us know work does fill the hours that we have so if you allow yourself to work in the evenings at least for me I kind of notice that I start putting things off to the evenings so during the day if I have a really difficult assignment or I have to make a presentation I'm usually like I can do this in the evenings and I started noticing that when I allowed myself to do that during my PhD before I knew it I was working like 14 16 hours a day and this is not sustainable for anyone so I would really recommend to during the 
times that you notice that you are in general not enjoying yourself and you're not being productive to cut those out of your work time to truly assume that those are your downtime hours so the fourth tip that for me really really helped during the phd is to surround yourself with people that have different values that are not related to studying work productivity all of these things so a lot of my friends and family back at home they kind of live their life very differently and according to different values and i think surrounding myself by these friends they sometimes tell me how some of the values i have or they reflect back that some of the values that i have are a little bit silly and then sometimes if i work myself up to oh no i'm not gonna do well for this presentation and i'm gonna fail they kind of tell me like don't worry calm down this is not the end of the world this is only your phd and i think once you're in a phd it really feels like a lot is dependent on it but if you have a lot of friends outside of your phd and your studies they can kind of reflect back on you that your phd isn't that important in the end and you're still a complete whole person even outside of your research or your studying or your work and the last thing and maybe this is a little bit just related to me but is to have hobbies that are fundamentally unproductive because i kind of noticed ever since i started a youtube channel and also a blog on neuroscience i will link it down below that even though i love making videos and i love writing for my blog and i love reading about neuroscience i noticed that almost all of my hobbies had some kind of output and were in some sense productive and this really meant that during no hour of the day i could really truly turn off my brain like i was always thinking of what is another youtube video i can make or what's another blog post i can write or what's my next research idea and even though i truly love making youtube videos and i truly love doing research i did notice that i just couldn't turn anything off and i would always just be busy thinking so something that i now try to do is the things that i do in the weekend cannot be in any sense related to anything productive so for example things i enjoy doing is playing games with friends going out on long long walks through nature listening to podcasts that are just a bit silly and stupid and also reading a lot of fantasy books which are fundamentally unproductive like there's no world where this will bring me any type of benefit and i think this is just really nice to have hobbies that are just for you that are only truly for your enjoyment and nothing else and maybe this is just me but i sometimes need to remind myself that it's okay to just truly enjoy something just because you enjoy it and not because it will get you to some a final end goal and let me know if you have any hobbies that are truly unproductive because i love being inspired and i love to read about what other people enjoy without it having any productive benefit and otherwise see you next week bye